good afternoon everybody it is just about three o'clock on january the 18th uh, it's been a few days since i've been out hunting and as i mentioned in the last sit my county and the place where i'm hunting right now is part of a, a much longer season than the rest of the state we have a, a northern virginia late deer season which runs all the way up until march 27th so it's restricted to does only, and that's fine by me. Uh, goal is to get uh, one or two more down before the end of this month. And filming was pretty difficult the last time I was out due to the temperatures. We had temperatures in the mid-teens, and batteries were dying, and fingers were freezing, so I didn't get the best footage. And today's a totally different story. We did get snow about two days ago, uh, roughly like eight inches of it and today we've warmed up quite a bit uh, which is one of these uh, weather occurrences that I like to try and get out on during the late season whether it be cooling down a large amount or heating up a large amount these big temperature changes seem to get deer on their feet so I'm heading out to this property near my house should be out there in about 10 or 15 more minutes so I'll catch you guys from the tree settled into the stand and walking in I kind of got worried because I was seeing a lot of deer in the fields already it's about just after three and I jumped up two on the field way on the other side of this property and as I was sneaking into this spot there was already a group of deer working the field edge right 
watching these deer walk out this field <laughs> straight out of my life. They came from west of me, coming right at me, and it was looking like it was going to just be perfect. And I don't know how many times this has happened to me this season, but right as they got to the junction where they could go right and go right under my stand or go left and get downwind of me, they went left. And the three biggest does stood at the edge of this creek that runs through the middle of this woods and just did not move for over 40 minutes. They finally just milled around here at like 56 yards. The closest one, there were I think eight total, the closest one was at like 53 or something like that. They just kind of milled around, worked back across this creek drainage on my left and and they're walking out this field right down the middle of it. It's about four o'clock now, so I mean that happened quickly, which is cool, but I don't know I don't know how many deer are gonna be coming through. That the, that group of eight makes at least fifteen for the day and I've only been here about an hour or so. It's frustrating. But like I said, it's happened to me so many times this season, I'm pretty used to it. Guess I'm just gonna sit tight and hope that there's more coming through here. So I got about 15 or 20 minutes left of legal hunting time here. Maybe five or 10 minutes of that is good camera light, so I'm probably gonna be wrapping it up started out really great first hour I think I saw f about 15 deer and after that I haven't seen anything since 415 seems like lady luck is not on my side anyways I'm just gonna start packing up here and climb on out of the stand and hopefully be back out soon either way guys I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you from the woods next time Good afternoon everyone, it's January 28th, I'm back on this property out here near my house for the late doe season we have here in the county and as you can see we're getting some snow right now, it's about 2.15, I'm just getting out into the stand, uh, about a five minute walk and I'll be there. Hopefully I can slip in without spooking any deer. I've had a rough go past couple of sits out here. Uh, just not being able to close the distance. And uh, last time I was out here, I got <laughs> schooled pretty hard. So hoping I can get one more doe or perhaps two down before the end of this month. Uh, once January is over, I'm going to be wrapping it up. So not much left to get it done here. So. Like I said, five minutes, I'll be in the stand, and I'll see you guys out there. All settled in now. It's about mid-30s, probably like 35, 34 degrees, and the snow's really coming down now. It's actually pretty awesome out here. I don't really get a lot of opportunities to hunt in the snow, so this is cool. But it's about 2.30 now, so I got plenty of time. Hoping these deer are gonna be moving up through this timber. Uh, but no way in telling, just gonna wait and see. So, fingers crossed.
Lots happened in the past hour. Had a couple of deer moving through just out of range. Had a group of five or six of them come through at like 60 yards. It was like the same old story. I was starting to get a little frustrated, but then I caught glimpses of deer moving out in this field edge, like 200 yards away from me, but they were coming my way. Ended up being a pretty big group of deer. They were walking right in my direction, and then they crossed this ditch that's in the middle of this block of timber, and just crossed in front of me at like 80 yards, never got any closer. And they got to the field edge just off to my left, and worked along the field edge into this corner, and I had the camera on them pretty much the whole time. And they worked this corner and worked up the field edge away from me. And I noticed there was a group of three more that were kind of lollygagging behind them. And they crossed the ditch a little closer to me. And they were working right through this trail in front of me. So I moved the camera over to them. It was two yearlings and a, a bigger doe. And the two yearlings were in the front. And the one front yearling crossed here at 30 yards and got behind this thick stuff and was standing there at like 15, 20 yards. And she started to get a little uncomfortable. But by then, the bigger doe had walked out and she was standing at about 32 yards. I drew back nice and slow, but she was quartering too and I thought the shot was uh, pretty good. That she bound off maybe 15 or 20 yards and hunched up and was just standing there for five or ten minutes it seemed like probably not that long but I uh, grabbed another arrow out of my quiver and knocked it and sent one down there it was about 54 yards which isn't a shot I'd usually take at a deer but since I already put an arrow in her I uh, figured I uh, might as well take advantage as long as I have a shot before she walks away. So I ended up putting one more in her and then she took off down into this thick stuff. Of course the arrow I grabbed wasn't a lighted knock one so it was a little tough to see where it hit but uh, definitely looked like middle of the body so I got maybe 45 minutes to an hour of daylight here. I'm not gonna track her unless I can see her from here, but I'm gonna go down to the shot site, check out the arrow, check out first blood, and then pull out and I'll be back out here to track her before the snow covers up the trail. So stay tuned guys, I'll be with you in a minute. All right, so I've recovered the arrow. It's definitely no good, without a doubt guts. It's got a good amount of stomach matter on it. And sure is stink. So that explains why she was hunched up. I have no idea. It looked like it entered a little more forward, but you know, it's disappointing. It sucks, but luckily I got that second arrow in her, I think, and I'm gonna go check out what she was standing here. It's maybe 10, 15 yards away from me. Just gonna make sure that uh, I got something to go off of other than just this arrow, so stay tuned. Well, I'm actually here at the shot site for the second arrow. Like I said, it's about 50, 55 yards away from my stand. Wouldn't take the shot at a deer just walking by, but since she had an arrow in her already, I was more than happy to try to take a second shot. And it looks like this one was pretty good. First blood here is pretty nice. And then maybe like two or three steps back behind me. It's some really good looking blood. So I'm going to go back to the car real quick and then take up the trail. And hopefully we got a dead deer at the end of this trail here. Well, folks, like I said, that trail was looking really good. The blood was definitely spraying. I was coming on some really good points of blood. And when you know, right across this ditch, 
There she is. She's a really nice size doe. I'm really happy with that. Unfortunate first shot, but I'm gonna go ahead and drag her out of here and then do a nice closing interview for you guys. Well guys, got her pulled out of the woods and into the fields here, and I just couldn't be happier right now. And after that first shot, I was feeling really down on myself, and uh, luckily I was able to follow up with a second. And the first shot definitely hit where I was aiming, maybe like an inch or two back. But since she was quartering two so hard, it came out pretty far back. Luckily that second shot hit her right where I was aiming. She was quartering away a little bit, and it came out on the front side shoulder here. And, she was dead in minutes, apparently. Uh, my original plan was to pull out, come back in a few hours, or maybe tomorrow morning, and pick up the track to try to recover her. But after looking at that second shot site and uh, how promising the blood looked, I was feeling really optimistic. Took up the trail and maybe like 40 or 50 yards later, she was laying dead just on the other side of that ditch. You know, to close off my 2021, 2022 deer season like this, it's just a, a real cherry on the top because I had one of the best seasons I've ever had and my goal was definitely to bring in one more doe to finish out the season and cut it kind of close. We got maybe three days left to hunt out on this property and um, I was definitely planning on getting out a couple more times this weekend. But now that I got this deer down, this uh, will probably end my 2021-2022 deer season. It's been an awesome season and the support I've gotten on the videos I've uploaded and all the adventures I've had this season have been just immense and I, I really feel so blessed to have the kind of support behind this channel that I do. Um, however, my uploading is gonna continue to be consistent through this winter and definitely into the spring uh, for turkey season. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure you got the bell on to get notifications when I upload and a lot of work left to do with this deer. Uh, got a gutter and drag her out of here. It's quite a bit of ways from the truck, so better get started now. It was such a beautiful hunt with all the snow. Uh, I'm so happy to be able to take a deer in the snow because it doesn't happen a lot here in Virginia. So once again, guys, I appreciate all of the support. Uh, I feel so blessed right now, and I'll see you from the woods next time.